Hello Church. I hope that you have already begun to realize, maybe even allow yourself to be a little surprised by how good the book of Job is. And we only got started. It Again, today there's another many good examples of that. Just to mention a few, there's a couple neat things. For instance, in chapter 5 verse 2, there is a fascinating statement that Eliphaz makes that is directly connected to or lines up with James chapter 316, a fascinating little note. It's also worth noting that chapter 5 verse 13 is quoted in the New Testament in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And so there are interesting studies that could be done about that and clear connections to the New Testament. A couple of things that I want to mention is that in chapter 5 verse 17, Eliphaz is sometimes misapplies truths, but he makes an interesting statement in verse 17 of chapter 5, where he talks about how blessed is the person that God corrects, and we shouldn't despise God's discipline. That's a fascinating statement, and not it, it, and it lines up exactly with Hebrews chapter 12. In Hebrews chapter 12, you see exactly that same language being mentioned. And it's interesting that Eliphaz uses the name Almighty, which if you look at the footnote in your Bible, is connected to the name Shaddai for God. That name Shaddai refers to God being a mighty sustainer in the same way that a woman who is nursing a baby would be sustaining that baby's life. God does that same thing for us. And it's fascinating that that is mentioned in the context of his discipline because verse 17 and 18 and so on clearly make it, uh, Eliphaz makes that point clear that God sometimes disciplines us in order that we would actually find life, which is exactly what Hebrews 12 verse 9 says, submit to God in that time of discipline so that you would find life. That's a fascinating thought to think about. That God isn't always just disciplining us for correction or maybe another better way of saying it is that when he is correcting us, it is not just for the sake of following a rule, but it's actually so that we'd experience life in that place. So that's something good to think about. Chapter 6 verse 10 makes a fascinating, uh, Job is talking here and makes this amazing statement. It's like a declaration that he makes. And he, in, in the midst of his unrelenting pain, he declares or he hangs on to this thought that he will have at least have the joy of not denying God. He is so determined. He has this um, resolve in him that he will not deny the Lord. It does not matter what happens. He will not deny the Lord. And that would be a good question. That alone, we could ask God this question. God, am I that established in my trust of you? You could just spend some time listening with the Lord and just say, Lord, do I feel that way about you? And if not, what would I need to change or begin to change to head in that direction? Would be a wonderful time to do, uh, to spend in your devotions. And then in chapter 7, you'll notice that Job begins to ask God some questions. And his questions aren't just his, to his friends. He's asking these questions to God and they're tough questions. And I think it's worth noting that God is not too small to handle our questions. It's okay to ask God questions and even tough questions if we maintain an attitude of reverence and humility when we ask them, not in a place where we are filled with spite and doubt. That's, those are the kind of questions that Satan would ask. But if we ask God tough questions because we legitimately don't know and we wonder, and in a, still in a place of reverence and humility, a great thing to ask the Lord. And you could even spend time in your devotions today asking God similar questions. But just make sure that we stay in a place of reverence. And when the change doesn't happen as quick as we want, then just ask the Lord that he would also give us the strength to persevere. And so that would be a great question to ask in devotions. You might even ask the Lord, Lord, are there areas in my life where you are disciplining me so that... I will have life. Or maybe even just acknowledging that when he does discipline us, it's for our good. And so enjoy some of those fascinating questions with the Lord today.